So one of the big changes this year is the Adobe Character Animator. Have you had a chance to look at it yet? I haven't. It's it's very fun. You're going to like it a lot. And now, right now it's just in, they call it preview mode or beta mode, but they went ahead and released it and I'm really glad because it's a lot of fun. Now you can open it from within After Effects, so I'm just going to say open Adobe Character Animator. And here we have it. Look at that, Jennifer. <laughs> <Here's her. laughs> Whoa. <laughs> So what this does is, I'm going to go ahead and set my resting pose because that helps it. That's so cool. And can you see over here, it's putting all these little dots on my face? Oh, yeah. This is actually the new face tracker that it has. <laughs> Whoa. That's so cool. Do you want to try it? Yes, I do. I want to try it. Okay. So just let it get your, it's picked Hello. you up. Hello. Get it, closer. Does it, does it close its eyes too? Yeah, do your eyebrows up and down. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Hello. Woo! <laughs> So, uh, like, <laughs> now it doesn't know who to go with. Let's go back to me. Um, I've got a couple of characters on here. We have the uh, red, that's my scene that I've created. for. This is the red monster. Now, he's a, he's a preset character. But you can see we've got all kind of choices here, um, like how much his head tilt. I actually like to crank up the eyelid strength because I think this character has a lot going on with his eyelids. So I've can't kind of cranked that up. I don't know that I see it working yet. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look at the, the camera, does he look at the camera too? Yes. It's, it's seeing that I'm closer. So it's making him closer. Now, did you see it was talking while you were talking? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it's actually not watching my mouth move to make the talking. It's listening to the microphone. Mm. So when you talk, so I'm going to be quiet and you talk and see if it'll move. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're confusing him. There's all kind of choices that you can make. Now let's look at my other scene that I have. Now this, this guy I call Bunny Dude, and he is a preset character, but I really like him because, do you see his flippy floppy ears? Yeah, I like that. And that's a choice that you can make, how much gravity is pulling down on him. Um, for instance, do you see we can have wind strength? Let's turn the wind up and look what happens to his oh, wow. <laughs> to his ears. But how much uh, variation we have in the wind, how much spring in his, we can have mm -hmm. it stand up or make him floppy ears. <laughs> He's a really funny character. So there's um, all of these preset characters. There's an elephant um, that you can really mess around with. And you can hand, I'm using my mouse to move his hand around. So you can tell it what areas you want to move around with your mouse. And of course, it's a little confused right now. It doesn't know how to do that hand. Can you move your hands and make it move? Or you just have to do it with the mouse? Now, this part is controlled by the mouse. Oh, okay. So it's motion capture with my face, but the other body movements are with my mouse. Oh, OK. See? I'm moving my mouse. Yeah. yeah hello, Jennifer. <laughs> so this is a great feature, and I think it just your creativity explodes when you start playing with it. There's so many things you can do. You can make characters in Adobe Illustrator and then bring them over and turn them into character animators. So this is a lot of fun, but one, another great thing about it is the face tracking that they have has been added into After Effects. So you can really use it on practical applications every day in After Effects. So it's not only is it super fun, but also very useful. And so I want to show you that next of the new face tracker. All right, I can't wait to try that out.